I'm sure we won't see him in action very much, but the fact that they know he's getting close sends hope to this program. Did not participate in the contact portion of their morning shoot-around. Lakshir and Izundu ready to go. And we've got a whistle with one second coming off the clock from Ted Valentine. One of our officials here tonight, and there it is, the one second of participation for Justin Robinson on his senior day. Odd to see Likes give that up when he had a mismatch with the largest player on the floor, Blackshear, in front of him. Now Beattie drops it off, and Blackshear slams it home. Excessive or unnecessary? I think that qualified right there. Well, Virginia Tech dodges a bullet on that one. That's one to two seeds above, I think, that Virginia Tech would get if they know that he's back in the lineup. Outlaw, another three-pointer. Now finding Wilkins under the basket for the easy layup. Lawrence, reverse layup. Virginia Tech has dismantled the zone for Jim Laranega to this point, so Coach Laranega going back to the man-to-man. -man, was tired of seeing the Hokies get easy baskets and it ends up being another easy basket. Against the man to man, you take Nikhil Alexander Walker for me, Ty Jerome from Virginia, Fiondu Kevin Gelly. Six man of the year? Absolutely. And as has been Miami's luck today, it falls off and ends up with the Hokies on a three on two break. And Wilkins with the reverse lay in to stretch the lead to 20. And again, Mike, if that one of those threes goes down, it's a 10 point game. And instead, Three defenders watch Hill score at the other end. Just walk in as the head coach at Butler, so he had to pay his dues in the coaching ranks, and it's worked out pretty well for him. Senior day has been kind to outlaw. A raised eyebrow or two here at Castle Coliseum to start the night. But after the first couple minutes, the Hokies dominant over the Hurricanes, 84-70.